What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at Elite Club problem number 1633 percentage of users attended a contest. This one's marked as easy. Let's get into it. We have two tables here, one called users containing a user ID and username, pretty basic, and then another one called register, which tells you which user registered for which contest. So we have contest ID and user ID in there, one entry for each registration. And our task is to write an SQL query to find the percentage of the users registered in each contest rounded to two decimals. We should return the result table ordered by percentage in descending order. And in case of a tie, we should order it by contest ID in ascending order. Query result format should look as following. Contest ID percentage rate given as an actual percentage and not 0.33. Um, you know what I mean. Let's get into coming up with a solution. So this type of question is quite common on lead code and in the real world since it's about coming up with a percentage or a ratio, which basically tells us that we want to divide one value by another value and one of these values is going to be the entire user count for all users who are on the platform and the other value will be number of people registered for that contest. And since we're going to do that for each contest, we need to group by contest ID in the end to calculate that ratio for each content, contest. And then it's just about trying to find how many people registered for that contest by taking a look at the register table, which has one entry for each registration. I can't speak today, but I hope I can code. So let's select something from Register and user. Let's start by getting the count of registered users per con test. So we're going to select, well, let's get contest ID first. And then the user count of registered users. We can use distinct here to make sure we don't have duplicate entries. It doesn't stay in the question, but it's always good. And we're selecting that from register. As I said, we want to group by contest ID to count per contest ID and not for the entire table. Let's run that to see what it gives us. We have contest ID and then also the amount of registered users. Now it's just about dividing that by the amount of all users. And that's in the users table could think about joining here, but it's actually not necessary if we use a subquery to get that one value. And that one value is just counting the amount of users in the users table. Again, we're using distinct here to make sure we don't have any duplicate entries in here. User ID is the primary key, so we shouldn't have duplicate entries, but yeah, if we don't have that, we should use distinct. We can also remove it here, should also work. Let's try. Anyways, that ratio should be called percentage. Let's just run that to see what it gives us. And then we probably need to do some formatting. We have values of 1.0000 for values that should be 100.00. So we're going to multiply that by 100 to get the percentage in the format we want it to be. It's also a common problem. And then I think we should also round that to two decimals. So we're going to use the round function around that. around that entire calculation. And after the comma, we can specify how many decimals we want. It should be two. And then we also need to do some ordering. So values do look nice in terms of formatting. It's just not ordered yet. Return the result table ordered by percentage in descending order. And in case of a tie, ordered by contest ID in ascending order. That is actually quite easy. We're just gonna specify it in the order by clause and first priority should be mentioned first and then the second priority can be after the comma and it should work just fine. So let's type in percentage here in descending order, DESC, 
and contest ID in ascending order ASC. See if that works. Let's run it, it's accepted, and if we submit that, it's hopefully accepted as well. It is. Anyways, that's been it for me. Hope I'll see you in one of the other videos. If you want to make sure to see me in one of the other videos, consider subscribing and you'll get reminders to study in your subfeed, which is always a good thing. See you next time. Bye.